Okay, so have you ever thought about like what it would be like to be locked in the Vatican mm. with like all that history and tradition, you know? Oh, yeah. To choose the next pope. Definitely. Well, that's kind of the world we're diving into today with this film, Conclave. Okay. Based on a book by Robert Harris. Sounds interesting. And, you know, we're going to unpack not just the film itself, but what it kind of reveals about like power and faith. Yeah. And, you know, the surprises that maybe uh, are hidden inside one of the oldest institutions in the world. Right. Yeah. I think what really gets me about this is how they show the papal conclave. You know, right. the whole process is like so secretive and all the rituals, you know, most of us only see like what we get on the news. Right. Exactly. But conclave, you know, it pulls back the curtain and it shows you the human drama and the power struggles. Yeah. And, and speaking of drama. Yeah. The director, Edward Berger. He's the guy who made Deutschland 83. Oh, wow. Okay. So we know he can tell a pretty intense story. And then the cast is phenomenal. Ralph Fiennes. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's so good at playing those complex characters. He really is. And Stanley Tucci, mm -hmm. who always just brings so much to every role he's in. Totally. So I think with this group, you know, yeah. we're in for some really compelling performances. I think so, too. And the reviews have been saying Conclave is living up to the hype. Oh, yeah. I saw one that described it as like having... Plot twist like a papal pizza. Uh-huh. I know, right? That's a great way to put it. Yeah. But there's one twist that everyone is talking about. Yeah, what's that? So Cardinal Benitez. Okay. Who is like the front runner, you know, to be Pope. Right. He's revealed to be intersex. Oh, wow. That's a big one. I mean, that's not just a plot twist. Yeah. It's like throwing a grenade right into the conclave. Yeah, totally. And how do they react to that? That's the thing, right? I yeah. mean, how do you even start to deal with that kind of revelation? It's a really smart well by the filmmakers. Yeah, because it makes everyone think you know mm -hmm. the characters and us as the audience. Right. And we have to confront some pretty deep-seated assumptions. Yeah, like what? Well, like, how do the Cardinals vote now? I mean, right. do they see this as like a disqualifier mm -hmm. or could it actually start a conversation about, you know, inclusivity uh -huh. and how leadership might be changing within the church? It's almost like the film is holding up a mirror yeah. to the church and maybe even to society mm -hmm. asking us if we're really as open minded as we think. I see what you mean. Especially when it comes to, you know, people in power. That's exactly it. And yeah. by putting this story in the Vatican, mm -hmm. which is so connected to tradition and history, you know, it yeah. just amplifies everything about this revelation. It's not just a setting anymore. It's oh. like a symbol of all the expectations and the possibility of resistance, mm -hmm. but also, you know, the possibility of change. It really makes you think about all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. In these powerful places. Definitely. So I'm curious, like, how do you think the different groups within the church, uh -huh. like the traditionalists versus the reformers, right? how would they react to something like this if it actually happened? That's a good question. I think it would depend on who you asked. Yeah. You'd get a whole range of responses from like total rejection to like careful curiosity, right? maybe even people pushing for dialogue and, you know, rethinking what they believe. Mm. I mean, the Catholic Church has been struggling with gender and sexuality for centuries yeah so this scenario could be what actually makes those conversations happen out in the open exactly conversations that have been kind of simmering under the surface right yeah so this film becomes much more than just like a thriller for sure it's like this thought experiment that makes us think about big questions hmm. about identity and leadership and how institutions that seem resistant to change can actually change Totally. Conclave leaves us with a really powerful question. What's up? Could a fictional story like this, okay. with, you know, its exploration of identity and how it impacts power, uh -huh. could that actually influence change in a real world institution? Like the God Search. Exactly. Yeah. You know, a place that's centuries old. Could it open up conversations? Right. That would never happen otherwise. Yeah. I think that's what makes this film so compelling. Absolutely. It's really thought provoking. Yeah. Well, on that note, yeah. we're going to wrap up this deep dive. Okay, great talking with you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. And to all our listeners out there, yes. keep thinking, keep exploring. Absolutely. And we'll see you on the next deep dive. Looking forward to it. Not for now. Bye.